What's up friends of Backgammon? In this video we're going to talk about timing in Backgammon and what is timing? You hear this all the time but few people, few players have actually made a clear definition of timing. So I have my definition of timing but first I'm going to just show you what the concept of timing is and then in the end of the video I'm going to put, out, put forth my definition of timing. So let's have a look at this position here. This is a holding game position since uh, white has achieved full freedom here, but green is still stuck here on an anchor on the 18 point. However, green is actually a favorite here because green is ahead by 34 pips in this position. Uh, so green is on roll and uh, green is doing fine. Green is a 60% favorite here, so, but still very evenish game. It's almost 50-50, right? It's 60-40 in green's uh, favor here. Green is up 34 pips. So why is it that green isn't a bigger favorite than just 60%? It's 60-40, it's so close. The reason is that even though green has better race in this position, better race value, he has worse timing. So green is forced to break this anger if he rolls a 2-6, 3-6, 4-6, 5-6, which would leave him in a position like this where white is a favorite to hit. And then uh, green can simply lose the game by, losing, uh, by being trapped behind the prime. Uh, so we see here that even though white has inferior, inferior race, he has superior timing in the position. White can keep his structure and position the way it is longer and wait for green to crunch something. He either has to, green either has to run from the anchor or green has to crunch his front position like this, which is also bad for the race and bad if there's a hit exchange. Um, so, so that's essentially what timing is in backgammon. It's your ability to keep your structure and position as strong as possible when you need it. That's, a, that's a, another key. That's like, it's when you need it. It's not now, it's not later, it's when you need it. Uh, so we're going to see some examples of that as well. I want to just show you one more position here. Uh, let's have a look at a back game position. So now let's say that green is trapped in a deep back game here, a 1-2 back game. And white has a beautiful 5 prime here. He's really trapping green. And uh, if you were a primitive computer program here, you might say that oh, green has two points of anchor. That's very strong. And green has a five point board. That's also very strong. So green must be doing fine in this game. He can easily hit some shots and then he has a strong board. But an intelligent human player can easily see what's going to happen in this position. Green is going to crunch, right? Because green has no mobility. He has horrible timing. He's going to eventually crunch his front position and he's going to have a position where all of his checkers are buried here on the deeper points. And what, what good does that do? You know, even if he gets lucky and hits a turnaround shot, he's not going to win because he destroyed his front position. So again, an example of very poor timing for green. So what would good timing be? Good timing is when you, you time it, you, you time your front precision strength as such that when you need it, when the critical moment in the game arises, then you have a powerful front position. That's what good timing means. And you can actually predict it further out in the game. So let's say like this game, let's go back a little bit in this game here. And let's, uh, let's say that green has a position like this and white is still a little bit underdeveloped. Let's say, you know what, let's just say this, this is the position. Or this even, this is the position. Okay, so here, we can easily see that green has a very, very weak front position. He has a one point board, basically on a blot. This is no good. However, it doesn't matter, right? Because green doesn't need a good front position at the moment. He needs it seven or eight rolls down the line. And in seven or eight rolls, green will have a strong front position. He's gonna come down, he's gonna build something like, he's gonna be something like this in seven rolls or something like this. Right, so, and, and white again, now white will be on the verge of crunching and white will be something like this. And if green gets a shot now, look at the powerful front position of green. He's actually gonna win the game if he hits a turnaround shot now. So in this position, green has good timing. He has timed his front position in a way where when the critical moment in the match arises, which would be when he gets that shot, now he has a strong front position. It's neither crunched, collapsed, nor is it underdeveloped. It's just in the sweet spot where he has a strong front position, ready to win the game if he gets lucky and hit the turnaround shot. 
So that's actually my definition of timing. It's the likelihood of having a strong front position when the critical moment in the game arises. Um, yeah, and uh, timing is such a, a crucial element of uh, backgammon. Uh, you have the race, and then you have the counteracting mechanism of timing. And it, this is the tension between race and timing that goes on in almost all games, even from the opening position. That just because one player is ahead in the race by 20 pips, it doesn't mean that he has a big edge. Because that race, racing lead is being countered by the opponent having better timing now. Because the one who's ahead in the race is probably going to give up something first. He's going to give up an anchor or crunch his front position first. Um, usually race dominates over timing, like you prefer to be ahead in the race. The exception to that is in a prime versus prime position. There it's actually better to be down in the race because now you have superior timing. Um, but the tension between race and timing exists in almost all backgammon positions and that's why it's so crucial a concept in backgammon. So here you go guys, that's the concept of timing. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next video. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. Did you smash that like button? Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to not miss out on future videos. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and my personal Instagram, Mark Olsen 10 And see you in the next video.